All right, let's get right into it. I've been meaning to do this. Sabrina Claudio, American singer, songwriter, uh, soul artist, R&B artist, has dropped a project, an album titled About Time. Uh, keep on, keep keep note of About Time uh, and just time in general. It's a motif that comes up a lot in, in this album. We're just going to be reviewing it. I got a chance to um, listen to it a few times uh, and like, listen through it, like full track, track from track one to track 13. So, um yeah, here goes nothing. All right, track one about time. It's the intro. It starts off with this poem uh, about uh, blooming rose in, in the life of a rose. That's how it starts off. Um, and it's basically her um, basically going like speaking in terms of her life in terms of a blooming rose. And she also referenced time here. And time is also important. A time is uh, I mean, time is, is the title track, and it's also an important motif that comes up in the album. Um, she mentions in like the first song. It's not really a song. It's more of a poem ish. Um, she mentions that time giving so much and then taking everything away. And she also, I do like the part where she says, um, with my guesses being so wrong all the time. So I, I did enjoy, um, nice way to start off the album. Definitely captures the feel, the central feel of just the album in a whole. Now moving on, we have track two, Natural. Um, I do like the part where she said, where she sings, I can't predict my fate, but I can't be, I, I can't be his no more. Um, and uh, she also has a line where she goes, uh, no one really knows my name because all you call me is beautiful. I thought that was very good writing. Um, just great writing in the song in general. And um, the instrumental is okay. It's a bit slow. Um, I do enjoy the instrumental. Overall, I do enjoy the instrumentals on the project, but they are a bit slow. Um, the album might be a little hard to get through. It's a great album, but it's, it might be a little hard to get through uh, your first listen like all the way through. I know for me, it was hard for me to listen to one a track one to track 13 all the way through the first time because it is a bit slow on some of the tracks but um nonetheless we'll keep on going track three everlasting love um i, I do love the piano and the instrumental in this i it's fantastic instrumental and again fantastic songwriting um i love i love the part where he sings that will i stand in the way of what we'll uh, what we will become and wow i'm like tongue-tied today <laughs> and um she has a couple lines about demons and stuff that i thought were pretty cool um, how she says, I will do what I say, no matter what demons I have. Um, so that was a very interesting track. Uh, great track to dissect if you want to just look at the lyrics. And um, just in general, I do like the track, especially the way she sings um, that this is the way to everlasting love. I do I, I do enjoy how she sings that. So yeah, uh, another great track, track four, Belong to You. Now, this song also has a remix on track 13 featuring uh, Black. I was <laughs> going to say Six Black, just just for fun um six flags pronounced black um it's, it's so crazy because all my friends like clown like clown him they're like no we're just gonna call you six black and i call him six black but um i am a fan of his music so uh this song is just the original belong to you track track four it doesn't feature um six flags six flags uh remix comes in later but um definitely one of my favorite tracks of the album just in general <laughs> six flags pronounced black that's so funny to me uh moving on we have track five Unravel Me, probably my favorite track on this project for sure. Definitely the most memorable for me, anyways. I do, I do enjoy. Um, it's crazy because I, I mentioned this like a few times in my videos. I do love like when they do that stylistic effect where um, they take your vocals and they make it like way deeper, um, kind of like a chop and screwish type of thing. What is that called? Can someone inform me? No. Okay. Um, but I do like, I do like how they do that. Um, the singing stands out to me a lot on this project. Um, especially in this song, like she's she's hitting some high notes, and I'm like, Jesus Christ, I wish I could sing. But um, yeah, great great track. I do I do love how she um, the vocal effects in it, how it, it goes from like uh, a chop and screw type of effect. I do enjoy that. I I always love that. Um, someone should chop and screw this album. Actually, that'd be great. Uh, track six, stand still. Um, this track, I do love how um, the lyrics are a bit repetitive, but um. The progression of the instrumental is great. The lyrics are, are as I mentioned before, the lyrics are a bit repetitive. Um, I love, I, I do, I do like how she says, "I want love too, and I want yours too." Um, like the singing is great on this track, but it does feel like it runs for a little bit too long. Uh, track seven, want to know? It, this track is definitely a follow up to "Stand Still." It, it definitely feels like, um, it, and it, it even references the lyrics when she says, um, "I want to know if you feel this too, because if you don't, I can't be in love with you." Uh, I do love, I do enjoy the ending of this track. Um, towards the end, I, I really do like it. Now, moving on, track eight. This is where like the whole motif of time comes into play. All right, just went to got a quick break. Now, moving on, we have track eight, Frozen. And as I mentioned before, this is where we have the time motif. Um, the songwriting is definitely amazing. It stands out on this track too. The flowers will be blooming, the leaves will be turning, and snow will be falling. We'll be making love. The sun will be shining. 
um, and time will be frozen. So yeah, um, just the motif of time stopping is is present in this track, and like this this track is one of my favorite. Just um, not in terms of just the vocals or the singing. Um, as I mentioned before, Unravel is still my favorite track on the album, but this song definitely um, the song I can, I really appreciate the songwriting on this. I've always been a fan of like good songwriting and good writing in general. So nice to have that on there. Track nine, we have time. Now this is a contrast to track eight, Frozen, the track we just talked about. Um, instead of time being frozen, no pun intended. Um, this has this references time progressing and like the sun shining. So. Yeah, I mean, there's a line that caught, like, just the lyrics of this track contrast with, um, the lyrics of track 8, where she says, Even the sun desperately making time for you, making time for you, making time for me, making time for us to make more love. So, yeah, definitely, um, marketing that. Track 10, okay, used to, now, for some reason, this beat reminds me of, um, Get It Together, Off More Life, for some, for some odd reason. Um, the, the beat is very, sim it's similar. Um, I can definitely see this, like, Georgia Smith just hopping on this and, like, <laughs> and, like, bodying it. Um, definitely feels like a garage track, but, um, it, it, it's, it's, uh, one of my favorite tracks on the album. I, I do enjoy her vocals when she sings, um, Lose Myself So I Could Love You Better. Uh, moving on, we have track 11, Wait, another one of my favorite tracks on the project. It has, a uh, this one, I kind of wish this was earlier, because, um, this track has a faster instrumental and a more upbeat instrumental. Um, so yeah, um, I wish this was just a little bit ahead. Uh, the the placement's fine, but um, I wish kind of wish we would have had a little bit more of these faster tracks. I, I do enjoy the songwriting on this. Um, how she goes, I'm I'm not ignoring your feelings, but right now it's hard to put yours in front of mine. And the instrumental breakdown towards the end is fantastic. So yeah. So yeah, great track. Now moving on towards the end of the album, we have the final track, track twelve. This is the track I was talking about featuring um Black Six Slack. <laughs> I'm never gonna live that down. Um, never gonna let him live that down. Uh, belong belong to you featuring Six Slack. Now um in terms of just remix, um I don't think Six Slack does too much to make this track different from the original track for Belong To You, but um, regardless, it was nice hearing Six Slack, can't wait to, for him to finish his project and to listen to it, I have enjoyed his last album, so yeah. Um, overall, great album by Sabrina Claudio, definitely recommend it, definitely check it out. Um, like, comment, subscribe, if you enjoyed the video, let me know what you thought of the project, and peace out, guys.